First, spend some time exploring to get inspiration from your scene. I like to get a lot of photo references and try to discover if there's a natural composition that's as close to what I'd like as possible. This means not settling for the first thing you see, but wander around a bit. I'm walking around trying to look at the different angles and get the best composition that I can get with this lighting right now. This could be kind of interesting with the road. So I'm trying to walk a little bit farther away to get more of a view of it because it's just the street is so close to it. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> go down the hill and then it seems like there's another big hill at the bottom of this street. I wonder if that would be too far away. Maybe. Drive down there. Yet again, foiled by a tree. There. This is kind of an interesting view. I like how your eye can be led through down the path to right here, which is right on the thirds. So I want to play around with these two different images. I kind of like this vertical uh, composition here and the way that the church kind of takes up this portion of the frame here. I also like the fire hydrant and these verticals. And But from this one, I like the road that leads you down and these darks and things like that and this sort of sense of perspective. I also like these power lines that come across. So I'm going to try and maybe merge these two in an artistic way so that we can get um, something that's pleasing. So we're going to try that with some thumbnails now. I like to create a sense of depth where the viewer can see the foreground, middle ground, and background. And I like the compositional aspect of the road in this case because the road leads the viewer's eye back into space, but also metaphorically leads the viewer to the church, which is also literally and I'm sure intentionally set on a hill, a reference to the saying of Christ taken in Matthew 5.14, where he says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. With that in mind, the fact that the shadow and light raking across the street gives contrast points to lead the eye down the road up the hill to the church, and I, I really like that. I wanted a composition that set the church within the landscape so that it wasn't merely an architectural portrait set apart, but that the scene laid before us is actually what someone might see as they were driving to church on a Sunday morning. I think also setting the church building within the landscape can convey the idea of God's presence with us in the world, literally like the prophet Isaiah prophesied saying, Emmanuel, God with us. So in this way, the viewer of the painting also becomes a participant as they view the compositional aspect that they're invited to become participants in the story that's unfolding before them. Edward Manet was notorious for doing this with his paintings. The painting Olympia suggests that the viewer of the painting is in fact a customer of a prostitute. And likewise, in this painting, the viewer sees their reflection in the back of the bar as basically participating as a paying customer. The trick lies in looking for compositional elements that trigger metaphors and story in your own mind, and then looking for ways to paint it.